A new video game that premiered today may be like none you've ever seen, perhaps because its developer faced challenges few of us will ever experience. Jan Crawford introduces us. And then she hear like the sound of a gun. For Luol Mayan, this is more than a video game. It's a personal story. You is yeah. to survive. You have it's to, to keep survive. Going. You have to keep going. The 25-year-old knows about survival. His family fled war-torn South Sudan. He grew up in a refugee camp in northern Uganda. So there was no electricity. Yeah, there's no electricity at all. There was no school. There was there was nothing. But it was there, in a refugee office when Mayan was 12, that for the first time he saw a computer. I was like, wow, it clicked in my mind that I want to use that one day. And he did, thanks to his mother, who saved $300 as the camp's seamstress to buy him this used laptop. He walked three hours a day to charge it. What was driving you? The opportunity to be alive, because with that, it helped me understand that we can do whatever we want to do. Inspired, Mayan taught himself how to write computer code and eventually developed a rather unique video game. And you call the game Salam, yeah, Salam which means peace. peace. In the game, players take on the role of refugees fleeing violence. It would become the ticket out of the camp for Mayan and his family. My family left the country. My father Today, living in Washington, D.C., this former refugee now leads his own company. It was so hard. Did time. you ever think about giving up? Yeah, a lot. But you didn't quit. My mother helped me. Your mother. She believed in you. Yeah. So, so. His mother is his game's main character. And how do you win? Well, by you can be able to like grow your family, like have that um, peaceful environment. So mm. winning is when you find your place. Yeah, peace. Oh, peace. Yeah. In a game and in life, Jan Crawford, CBS News, Washington. And a story about a mother's love.